<laughs> all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Monique Martinez, and you are watching an episode of One Gotta Go. Today we have E.S. Escrivano and Miss Serena D. We are going to be discussing the topics of what adult cartoon has gotta go. Today our options are one, Family Guy, two, Futurama, three, King of the Hill, and four, The Simpsons! Oh. <laughs> Nonetheless, for The Simpsons. Um, so I guess I will start off my top show. I mean, I got to keep it old school. That's what I grew up watching. My number one is that I have to absolutely save is The Simpsons. Hands down. What do you guys think? I agree with you. Yeah? Yeah, that's my safe one too. Yeah. The Simpsons. I grew up watching that. It's just, I don't know. You yeah. Gotta save it. No, for sure. For sure. What about you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Yeah, like I like The Simpsons, but also have like Family Guy right next to it. Shit, I don't know. I mean, The Simpsons, like, like yeah, you grew up with it and everything, yeah. like throughout the 90s and everything. Actually, throughout the 2000s as well. But looking back at it, like at the old episodes, it's just... It's like you see with like a different like a uh, scope and it's just like hilarious. Like some of the jokes you just miss. Yeah. It's just freaking hilarious. I don't know. Well, the crazy part about that, like you don't realize the stuff you were listening to and watching as a kid, yeah. Yeah, as an adult, you're like, dude, how did we get away with watching that? Yeah. Basically, <laughs> that it's an adult rated cartoon. Yeah. So I think that one's for sure going to be a safe one because it'll always yeah. hit the funny bone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and number two, I would say, let's see, we got, I, I have to say Family Guy, because I, I grew up, that was like the next one, the next step up, and it was like the raunch level just kind of took it up a step. Huh? Oh, <laughs> number two? Number, number two. two. Yeah. All right. Oh, man, you go. Me, number two. Fuck, I, it's like right how I was saying. Wait, what was the choice? It was uh, Family Guy. The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Futurama. Futurama. King of the Hill. And King of the Hill. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say a uh, Family Guy because uh, when I when I first started watching Family Guy, I remember uh, I was just I turned on the TV and I just remember seeing a uh, baby Stewie and the dog <laughs> and I and I was watching an episode, but it was one of those episodes where it was like they just focus on them, so I thought it was just them too. And I was like, oh shit, this show is fucking hilarious. It's just the show, and I thought it was just a show about uh, the baby and I'm um, fucking the baby Stewie, <laughs> Stewie and Brian. I'm like, damn, and and I think and I didn't never got the show name, and I spent like. Maybe like a whole year, maybe like, not a year, but like a few months trying to like look back and trying to look up that show. And I couldn't find it until I found it one time and I was watching Family Guy. And that's when I found out. I was like, oh, there's that freaking show. Like yeah. freaking, freaking Family Guy. That's where he comes yeah, from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Family Guy took it to a different level. Because um, sure. I remember Simpsons. Actually, South Park took it up the, a notch, but then Family Guy came out. I feel like you know, South, Park South Park can't be Park. touched, though. Like that, we, we can't even compare that to any of them because... At the end of the day, that is like they take it to a whole oh, different vibe. <laughs> you <laughs> killed Kenny, <laughs> <laughs> Cartman. <You bastard>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like butters. Butters yeah. is a little, but <laughs> it's got a little tiny voice. What is butters? <laughs> yeah, butters is like so, yeah. <laughs> butters. <laughs> that one's a nun what about untouchable. Kenny? Yeah. You can't. Kenny. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, butters like the Ralph of like uh. Fam oh, family guy. No, Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You guys see that meme? That kills me. Yeah, it's it's the bus. <laughs> He's just like, 17 shots of tequila later. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Everybody's hugging. <laughs> when he walks into that adult, some, I thought it was like a library or something, adult library. <laughs> <laughs> we got Family Guy and Simpsons collectively one and two, correct? Yeah. All right. So then the third one is between Futurama and King of the Hill. Um, honestly, I was really upset when they canceled Futurama, and I thought it was just freaking hilarious. I don't know, the creatures and the, the characters are just a little bit different. <laughs> and Caesar? <laughs> He's just like walking away. What's his name, Caesar? No, no, no. Zoibra. Yes. Oh, you're talking yeah. about Zoibra. I thought you were talking about the... <laughs> no, when that's he walked, not... He was like... <laughs> he loves that, too. He was like... Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. And he goes in circles. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I would say that that's my number three. I, I, I like King of the Hill, 
But it's just like it, you got to watch it at a certain time. It doesn't hit the way like Futurama, Family Guy, and The Simpsons hit me. Yeah. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I agree. Futurama's my safe one, too. I got to say Futurama over King of the Hill. I never really watched King of the Hill, honestly. Like, I saw maybe, like, two episodes, and they were, like, funny, but I didn't, like, laugh out loud. I was just kind of like, <laughs> oh my God. background noise. Yeah, like, I was like, oh, that's... The only thing I pretty much remember from King of the Hill was like, damn it, Bobby. Yeah. Go get me a beer. Yeah. Go get me a beer, Bobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What did you do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Oh, no, yeah. I can, I can still watch. I Actually, when I go home, I'm probably going to turn on Futurama. And then we'll change our opinions on, like, <laughs> okay, we, we need to redo this. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But what do you yeah. think? I guess. Shit, I, th- I think I'm, like, the same with you guys. I mean, it's kind of, like, the same with, like, uh, what was the name of Futurama and uh, King of the Hill. Um, but I think Futurama takes it up a notch for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like Futurama. Um, it was just like a whole new thing. Um, yeah, the fucking Caesar, the freaking Soidberg. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Caesar Bot? What the hell's his name? Um, Soidberg. No, Caesar, the guy that you know, you know Caesar. That he's like, he's like Julius Caesar, but he's like a robot. Oh. And he's like in a, he's like in a. Oh. That's what I've been talking about the whole time. He's like yellow, and he's like always has like. Yeah. Yo, I had some grapes with him. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. I love that character. I had to pause really hard for like, wait a minute. I thought you guys Dude. knew what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Nah, yeah, he's yes, made out of gold. gold. Yeah, and he's always like, I don't know, he just looks so <laughs> chill. He's always chilling and everything. You know which one I actually forgot to even, like, we forgot to consider? Have you guys watched Rick and Morty? Yeah. Oh my god. Rick <laughs> oh, Rick and Morty's good. Oh, like yeah. I can't. I, I like that in South Park. I couldn't yeah. even yeah. compare. Because even though like The Simpsons will top everything for me, because that's like it's my growing, growing up yeah. show, yeah. and I always wanted to be like. Uh, well, I guess I kind of wanted to be like Bart, but I was more of a Lisa because <laughs> I was kind of weird and the, the musical one. My brother was like special in the family so sorry george uh but it was really funny like to watch those but now you get shows like rick and morty and i honestly love pickle rick pickle rick y'all know i i love pickles i love pickles you love pickles yes i love pickles (laughs) pickles that's my food go give me some pickles yeah hey (laughs) there you go i was like oh I feel like that's going to, for sure, I just saw my future just a little bit right there with, like, the pickles. I'm like, yeah, that seems about right. But, no, Pickle Rick was my, is my dude. I went to Coachella, like, maybe two years ago, and I had a giant pickle. Oh, yeah. And so I was walking around, and, like, everybody was like, where's the pickle? We got to find our, like, the, the squad. And so yeah. they'd find the pickle, and they'd be like, Mo, pickle! And I'd be like, yeah, I'm right here. But no, that, that's the one show that, that's also, like, on that Untouchables, like, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, Rick and Morty ripped it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess that's, that is an Untouchable. But well, what did I say? I said, uh, yeah, oh, I guess King of the Hill. I mean, I do, I do like King of the Hill. I give it, I give it more credit because it, it, when I first watched it, it was kind of, like, kind of slow. It was weird because I know the creators from uh, Beavis and Butthead yeah. created that show oh, as well. Really? Yeah, it's like you you don't even know it's like the same kind of um cartoonist and stuff. Yeah. And you know you know um you know uh what's his name the uh, Hank Hank Hill, he's he's actually um he, he's like a spinoff or something from uh one of the Mr. Anderson right? Yeah, he's like uh, I don't know if you ever watched Beavis and Butthead, but I there's did, a, there's yeah, a min- Mr. Anderson is yeah, yeah. the same character. Like he looks similar. <laughs> I think the difference is he has a hat or something, oh. but it's kind of like a, he's based off of that guy. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's why I thought it was like that's like from like it was like from like daylight to like nightlight um, when it was uh, when I watched Beavis and Butthead. Then I saw King of the Hill. I was like, this show is kind of slow. But if you keep watching it, it's kind of funny because um, Bill, you know, like the guy with the tank top and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how he talks and everything is just um, just funny. And then um, I don't know, it's just it's just funny to watch. Like it's just like the subtle things. It's just like hilarious as hell. You just like sometimes yeah. you just start cracking up. So I don't know. I got to give it. King of the Hill has like its moments too, but. Futurama and King of the Hill, I think. Close, but yeah. not close enough. Yeah. That one's got to go. Yeah, I'm sorry, out. King of the Hill. Well, I guess that wraps up our show for today. King of the Hill is out. Simpsons holds the ranking in our top favorite. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because we want to hear your thoughts and we want you to follow our lovely journey. Yeah. Show that button. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it, it, it at? Down there. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that. <laughs> Let us know what you would um, want to hear in new and 
future upcoming episodes. We'd love to hear your comments. Just interact with us. Let us know what you think. Um, again, my name is Monique Martinez with the show One Gotta Go, and you have E.S. Escribano and Miss Serena D. We out. <laughs>